Hi there, my name is Vanya, creator of musical sports and all the choreo workouts you see in this channel. I was born and raised in Venezuela and moved to Canada 10 years ago. At some point, I was feeling very homesick and wanted to leave, but fortunately, I stayed. So I want to share with you five tips that helped me settle in a foreign country successfully. Number one, start with why. Simon Sinek, the writer of Start With Why book, holds the premise that if you know your why behind your actions, you are more likely to hold on to that reasoning independently of the external variables. So it doesn't matter what changes around you, you are going to hold on tight to that why. So give it a thought and write it down and put it somewhere visible. So every time you think, what am I doing here? Just go and read it. Number two, create new memories. There's an animated film I love called Inside Out by Pixar. In the movie, the principal character moves from Minnesota to San Francisco. She gets homesick over the fact that there are frozen lakes in San Francisco and she used to skate with her parents. Not being able to embrace these lifestyle changes makes her crumble. Just like the movie, we need to live upon what we have in front, making the best out of these new moments. However, this is easier said than done. In order to live with your current reality, you need to first grieve what you left behind in order to make it part of your past and let it go. Number three, embrace the language. There is nothing more respectful than wanting and making the effort to learn the language of the country that is hosting you. Learning the language can help you find connections and meaningful jobs, but it can also help you understand the culture and the history behind it, which in some cases can give you another perspective on the way you see your own life. Number four, get involved on what is happening in your community. Understand that not everyone is always open to cultural exchange and that there's nothing wrong about it. It may just take time and you can never force it. What you can do is to be interested on what is concerning the members of your community, join their battles so they can then join yours. Number five, stop aiming, start doing. I know this is catchy, it's been said everywhere. It sounds simple, but it's not easy. From an immigrant to a person that might be living in a foreign country. You are always going to be both overqualified and underqualified. So don't wait for opportunities. Take actions. Do what you are best at and the opportunities will come eventually. I hope you enjoy this message and if you know someone that might be going through a phase of homesickness, living in a foreign country, just share it with that person. Because when I went through this, I didn't know if it was okay to feel this way and I was feeling even ashamed to feel the way I felt. So it's okay, you will go through this and everything's gonna be fine.